Hello, Josh. Um, I want to tell you something. Yes, what is it, Tim? Well, at school today we were given some homework, but I don't really do this stuff at home. You know, I would normally do the dishes, um, the laundry, that sort of stuff. First off, Tim, those are called chores, and you don't really do any of those anyway, for a start. And secondly, the homework you've been given is schoolwork you do at home. Surely you should know what that is by now. I don't need to do schoolwork at home. I don't see the point in any of it. Unfortunately, Tim, you need to. No, I don't. I, I don't need to. I just... Whoa. Josh? What? What is that? Well, that, Tim, is my new ironing board that I ordered. And I got it for a decent price since it was on offer. Ah, oh, okay. Why buy a new one? Because the old ironing board has seen better days. Yeah, you're not wrong. I have also ordered a new iron which is being delivered right now and it should be arriving soon. Oh great, and you can show me how you use it. Yes, this iron board is so much better because it's a lot bigger than that leopard skinned number. Hey, that's not a number Josh, that's an ironing board. No, it's a way of saying Never mind. No, Josh, it couldn't possibly be a way of saying never mind. No, just never mind. It's not never mind, Josh. Oh, uh, oh, the doorbell. That must be my new one. I'll just go and get it. Oh, uh, okay. You're still wrong, though. Morning. Give me a line, mate. Ah, yes, that's right. Here you are, then. Ah, thank you. Lilac? I didn't order a lilac coloured iron. Yes, you did, mate. We delivered just what you ordered. No, I'm sure I ordered a blue one. Yep, definitely sure. And I tell you, we're one of the best delivery services you're ever going to find in this town. Well, I suppose having a lilac coloured iron won't be too much of a bother. I mean... I got it for a decent price, so I suppose so. Right, that'll be £15 for delivery, please, mate. £15? God, that's frightfully expensive. Well, it's not my fault you chose next day delivery. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Here you are. Cheers, have a good day. Uh, thanks so much for cheap prices. Oh, well, Josh, did you get your iron? As a matter of fact, Tim, yes, I did. But someone changed it in the basket, and so I was given a lilac-coloured one. Uh, hey, that's that's not a um, little, little thing you got me. That, that's pink. Lilac, Tim. If it was pink, it would be a much brighter, much more um, solid colour if it was pink. No, no, Josh, it's definitely pink because... Wait a second... That's not your iron, Josh! What are you talking about? It isn't your iron at all. Talk about cheap prices from you. You must have stolen it. Look, it's Philips! <sighs> Tim, that's just the brand name. Uh... What? Never mind, how about I show you how to use it? Oh, yes! Alright. So you get your ironing board and you have to take it out of the pack by tearing the, the um, pack down. There you go, you just put the plastic in the bin. And then we have it. And once you've stood it up, like so, we get the iron. So you switch, you switch it on, and what you do is you turn the dial to get it to the right setting for whichever uh, fabric or clothing that you're ironing. 
basically an iron and water used to get creases out of things like uh, clothes and sorts of fabrics like that. You just literally push it along and iron it flat. That's what you do. But um, I don't really have anything to iron yet, so I'll so I'll, I'll show you properly later on. Just don't use it yet until I have. Oh right! Ah, oh, that's clever. Oh, wait. Are creases bad? Um, yes, they can be. Yeah, they can be a bother. Oh, um, thanks, Josh. Anytime, Tim. Yeah. Exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Well, you, you see, you said creases were bad, so I tried to get the creases off of my hands. Ah! Oh my word! Who would even think that? Well, if one thing's for sure, I know I've got a lot to write in my book now.